What is up, little biscuits and sun-dried tomatoes? It's your boy, Brandon Collins, back with another interview. I know it's been a while, but this one does not disappoint. I had the privilege of speaking with the RZA from Wu-Tang about the new season of the Hulu series, Wu-Tang and American Saga. It was great speaking with him about his life being portrayed on this hit television show, which you should definitely check out if you're looking for some solid storytelling and great performances. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page so you get alerted about future interviews. Special thanks as always to Africa for the opportunity. Now, here's my interview with the RZA. Hey, RZA, Brandon Collins from the Media and Popcorn Podcast in uh, New York. Uh, first of all, you wrote an amazing book. I don't know if you get told that enough, but like that's one of my favorite books uh, ever. So I really appreciate it. I want to know what it's been like seeing your career being adapted adapted for the series. And what are some scenes that made you uncomfortable, especially this season? And what are some scenes that made you really proud of like your achievements in the uh, path you took? Thank you. Great question, Brandon. It's very uncomfortable sometimes to relive some of the negative decisions that I made in life and my crew made in life. You know, season two starts off down in Ohio and my character is facing trial and facing his, his life. And I just never forget when that, going through that process, you know, never forget how my mother looked at me with the eyes of disappointment. I think that's more scarier than a cop. When, when your mother look at you and it's like, you ain't, you, you know what I mean? And that feeling was such a, uh, a heartbreaking feeling but it also motivated me to do better. I didn't want my mother to ever look at me like that. And when I watch the show and I see, uh, you know, when, when, when Erica Alexander looks at Aston, what did you do again? And it's just like, she he didn't have to tell her. She just could look and know that this kid is headed down the wrong path. And uh, so those scenes like that really, uh, you know, shake me personally. But then I got to, like you said, the nostalgic joy of, I never forget the day when that trial was over. And it was like Bobby, Robert Diggs, not guilty. And, and the joy on my family's face and the joy on my face. And, and we actually was able to use the real name of the lawyer, Dominic Olivito, who uh, was, you know, don't take a lot of cases, didn't want to take the case, uh, decided to take, he, he decided to take that case in real life because of my mother. Her personality, her poise, uh, the way she kept her home and everything, you know, based on how the, the community was looking, he was like, this is a family that deserves a chance. And he took the case and, and fought it out. So just to answer your question, it is some pain there, but it's, it's a lot of joy knowing that we overcame those obstacles. Thank you. And it's a terrific series. Thank you. We are two niggas, spoiling movies. Yeah. Brandon Collins, that's me. And Justin Brown for your moving needs. Medium popcorn. Woo! You haven't seen it, well, we're gonna spoil it. Spoil it in your face. That's your warning. Uh. So if you get pisses or you're 